According to the UN High Level Advisory Group, sustainable transport is the provision of service and infrastructure for the mobility of people and goods, advancing economic and social development to benefit today's and future generations. This definition of sustainable transportation to many Lagosians is not realistic with the cost of road transport increment. The transportation is very high, but we just want to plead to our government they should just see to the masses. The poor masses are suffering. They should just help us in a way that they can. That is all. So government has a lot to do in this facet. Not only providing government vehicles, but to subsidize for people that are using the yellow buses. They said though, the Lagos state government is trying to diversify into other areas of transportation such as rail and water. Its effort is insignificant because of the increase in population. It's a good concept of rail transportation. It also helps to ease the burden on the masses in terms of uh, assessing their destination. You know, if you look at other countries like in Saudi Arabia, in Europe, in America, even in China, a lot of advancement have been done in the area of transportation and I feel that uh, Nigeria needs to improve more on that in the transportation uh, sector so as to ease the burden of the masses. The theme for this year's Sustainable Transport Day is together we can drive meaningful change for a healthier planet and a brighter future. Ibuji Horia, ITV News.